guys, welcome back to Shay's Way and welcome to a super fun holiday video. I think like a lot of my videos coming this month are going to be more holiday themed because we love a good Christmas moment. So today starts it off with Rocket wearing a new outfit. Oh my gosh, he got a horse bandana from Plushy Paws on Instagram. You guys need to check them out because they make dog bandanas. She wanted to make a horse bandana and we were like, oh my god, that's so funny because dogs usually wear bandanas. So I was totally curious to see how it would look on a horse and oh my goodness, Plushy Paws did not disappoint. As you guys can see, Rocket looks absolutely stunning. So anyway, let's get into the video. Let's see how he looks like in the video with it and me riding with it. And we also have a super fun lesson today. We have a dressage and jumping lesson in one video. Also, you guys, if you want a horse bandana for your horse or for your dog, check out Plushy Paws. I link them in the description. Oh my goodness. Here, we'll move it over to this side now. Look at this. Oh, stop. Look how freaking cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. Look at the detail. So freaking adorable, the Grinch. And then on the other side is like this really cute snowflake starry holiday moment. I love it. I love it. Do you love it, Rocket? He is, he loves it. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me ride in the bandana. Here is the GoPro point of view and oh my goodness, it was so cute on him, I swear. Okay, so in part of this video you might notice that there are no bandana on his neck and that is because this video is taken on a different day. So bear with me here, we're wearing kind of the same outfit. So I figured I'd just include the GoPro footage for you guys because I know you guys like to watch me do GoPro riding. So you guys get a whole entire like ca caboodle of caboodle? What even is that word? Anyway, um, you guys get a whole, I don't know, riding moment in this. You're getting some dressage, you're getting some jumping, we're getting it all. So to start out, we are doing a 20 meter circle on a rocket and I am also doing, what are they called? I forgot what it's called. Serpentines. I'm also doing a serpentine moment and serpentines are really good because it helps you get your horse bending in different directions because you really want to get them supple on both sides. So that's what I do a lot with Rocket, especially in dressage because Rocket, he likes to be stiff. And if you guys have a horse that has a really stiff neck and does not like to bend left or right, then serpentines are perfect for you guys to try out because it really gets them thinking about different directions. It changes their bend and it helps you practice like bending them different directions so that they aren't just a one-sided horse because Rocky can kind of be one-sided if you hear my mom in the background um that is my dog abusing her but anyway um <laughs> Rocky can tend to be one-sided he likes the right side better so we try to get him bending more on the left side as well and as you can see, we just picked up the canter in the 20 meter circle. I'm really working on getting him bending and collecting in the canter. I have an easier way of doing it on the right side most of the time. Like I was talking to you before, he's a little bit more right handed or right hoofed. So it's actually pretty hard for me to bend him. And actually watching my video back, you guys might notice that my reins are like really floppy. And that is because I am a ding dong and don't notice that my reins are floppy when I ride. I don't know how I don't notice. I think that they're so freaking tight and I'm like, wow, I'm really living it. I'm just doing so good. And then I watch my videos and they're noodles and I'm like, oh my goodness, what in the ramen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really a disaster. So that is something I need to work on. Just need to be more aware of my noodle reins and 
I apologize to Rogan in advance because no wonder he's not bending his neck fully in the canner. What's he supposed to do when his brains are flopping around like, you know, those pool noodles like that, like a pool noodle. Actually, they're probably more floppy than a pool noodles because pool noodles are kind of like not floppy. So they're like floppy, like a ramen noodle. Ugh, ramen noodles sound really good right now. Anyway, we are just doing our 20 meter circle here with Mr. Rocket. And he was, look at that. We're starting to get the bend. Can you guys see? That's what I love. Rocket, he really tries for me. And so he's getting so much better at his bending because look at that right there. Collection. Hello. Adorable. I think if you guys were here like a year ago, you guys know that like Rocket never freaking got his head bending like ever. And now look at that man. That's a distinguished gentleman. Oh my goodness. Okay, then we went to warm up. We went over a pole and this is our pre-jumping warm up. And Rocket at first was a little hesitant about the pole, but then he like was fine with it. And then we went over the pole. And what's good about the pole is like, we were mainly gonna do it to like canter and like get that nice, like good bouncy canter before it. So we trotted over it a couple times to warm up. Then we picked up the canter. Percy, he's eating a notebook. You know when they say dogs eat your homework? And I was like, no way, they don't do that. They totally do that. Percy would eat my homework if it wasn't like on my computer. Anyway, here we are practicing getting that nice, uphill canter and it's really good because as you can see right there i kind of like got a weird like jump over that and then you'll see in this one it was much more smoother so that's what like the canter when you work on the canter that's what it's really about is just getting that nice distance and so you want to have a nice canter to get that nice distance if that makes sense so you want it to be more uphill than downhill and then we went over to the jumping arena to do some jumping here's more of me riding in the bandana so enjoy it's really cute and then i'll see you guys in a second for our jumping you guys we are here and jumping and you guys may be wondering like, why are the jumps low today and it's because we are working on rocket and my confidence so i've had a couple tumbles off of rocket in this year normally i have about one or two falls a year but i think this year i had maybe four so that's really good for me but it kind of shook my confidence a bit and then it shook rocket's confidence and my confidence in him yeah weird story but basically he kind of like hesitates as you guys can see at the jumps and then this one he was like no nope, holy spirit not activated but then we got him to jump it and so what we're kind of doing is we're starting off our jumping lessons at a trot where we trot every all the jumps kind of low and it just helps him build his confidence because like you can see he kind of leans away from them and he's like what incarnation are these jumps and we did get new jumps in the arena too so that's always a fun time for rocket but then he kind of figured it out and he picked it up pretty quickly and was like, you know what? I got this. I am confident. I can jump this. We're good. So once we did our whole trot course, we decided to go ahead and canter it. And it went pretty smoothly. I was pretty proud. Rocket still didn't like that flower jump. But can you blame him? I mean, I feel like the flowers really just they intimidate him. And that's okay. That's valid for him. Then we went to this jump and I was actually thinking that this was going to be the one he would spook at the most, but he didn't even care that much about it. Oh my gosh. You guys can't even see this right now, but my dog just started humping me and he's on a chair next to me. Like why? Don't get a male dog guys. Just kidding. They're amazing. But like, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, here we are to the last line, which was my favorite line. He jumped that so smoothly. Oh my gosh. Like butter. Yum. Oh, what a king. 
And then we went through the course, like the whole course, one more time in a canner to clean up anything. Because at the beginning, I kind of cut it out, but it was like, it was a mess. And then we kind of fixed it up a bit. And the jumps went up a little bit. And so the reason why they are low in this lesson is because A, the arena ground was a little bit hard that day. And then B, we are really working on Rocket's confidence, building him up to it. And then we're going to jump higher once he has a lot more confidence and once I have a lot more confidence. And this was a really great confidence boosting ride for Mr. Rocket, especially because as you guys can see, he has a fly mask on him. And it's because he's been having some eye problems lately with the sun. It's been bothering his eyes. So he has light eyes. So he has to wear his sunglasses when he rides. And that can be kind of harder for him to deal with too because it's like different, you know? He doesn't get his full like range of eyesight. I mean, he does. It's just like, you know, when you wear sunglasses, it's like that basically. So he's getting the UV protection. So he's just adjusting to that as well. And he's doing it beautifully. He's doing fabulous. And that was our jumping lesson. Anyway, that's the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you liked seeing Brockett wearing his cute new bandana. Comment down below what you thought about it and if you guys want to see me ride in the other side of the bandana. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I post. I have merch, so you can go check out my merch links down below or in the description. If you guys want a video shout out, make sure you comment down below on this video or you can comment on any of my other videos or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shay and Rocket, Twitter, Shay Slay Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Okay, thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day! Okay, bye.